Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hello everyone, checking in on natural gas. So the natural gas bulls broke a resistance level and we continued a higher low and higher high pattern. It looked like we were on the verge of a breakdown with the bears back in full control, but we just barely held support. It was 288, we held support at 2885. So a half of a penny holding higher and the bulls showed up all last week and broke our recent high of 3088. So we hit the highest price that we have seen since all the way back in July 20th. So essentially almost two month highs here and a, an important thing to note after breaking key resistance, we are watching this level of 3088. Just because you break a resistance level doesn't mean, oh, we're going to go up now from here. You have to take other things into consideration. Most notably here, the fact that we had already run for three days at a very significant amount when we hit that resistance. And it was good for the bulls to get over that level. But at that point, the four hour RSI was above 70. And we scroll back and say, oh, the four hour RSI pull back from 70 the last bounce attempt it did see a move over 70 a bit more prolonged here but the point is you scroll back historically and more often than not we reject and pull back right after the four hour rsi gets overbought so we can't just look at resistance and say oh resistance broke we're going up now from here it is notable in the longer term trend if we're swing trading and looking at the next few weeks is definitely a key level but this is why we zoom into shorter term time frames to try and pinpoint entries and exits because i would not be entering a long position with the four hour rsi above 70 looking at historically what has happened when it has gotten over those levels and knowing that we would likely need to pull back and form a higher low on the daily time frame and then see higher high before continuation we have to consolidate so we are in the middle of consolidation our low right now is 3006 so that is three dollar psychological support coming into play and if we break that level we know to stay back as bulls because we don't have a clear low yet but if to start next week let's say we hold three dollars for the first couple days then we can be confident in that support that is now established and we'll be looking back up at 3.10.6 and the main resistance for me is 3.14.2 because if we get over that level our gap filled target is 3.294 so we are looking at a potential 10 cent plus move if we get over this level due to the lack of resistance where we dumped originally back in June and May. So bulls turning things around the weekly time frame. Again, not very convincing at this point because of these upper wicks from these resistances. That's why that 314.2 level is so important to me. And looking at UNG on the daily, again, we got a, a nice break of the lower highs and we are rejecting from the 100 day resistance and now we're pulling back and looking to form a higher low 667 is our current support if that breaks we'd be patient and we wait for a bullish reversal candlestick to be confirmed and be confident that our higher low has been established new resistance is 688 then we're looking at 695 and 698 weekly time frame shows the bulls trying to level out here build a base and then start to head back up and in terms of this weekly time frame being clearly broken for the bulls it's going to take a lot of action really i won't be completely confident unless we get over 793 to break this lower high on the last bounce attempt because on this bounce attempt we can get up to 790 and it will still be a lower high compared to that level so key resistance here is that 698 level and then our target will be the gap fill at 730 middle bollinger band weekly resistance to be keeping an eye on but i would just be looking at natural gas levels and watching to see can the bulls keep up this daily higher low higher high pattern which has now followed through with a bullish last week. The energy sector overall is really strong and just looking for a new higher low to be established this week. I appreciate you watching. We'll continue to check back in. Have a great weekend.